Welcome to the solutions for the Advanced Placement Physics B Electromagnetism Problem Set Numbers 1 and 3. Alright, let's start with 1. For each of the diagrams below, A, B, and C, find the direction of the current in the wire that would produce a magnetic field directed as shown. We'll start with diagram A. And diagram A shows a magnetic field uh, that's going into the page above the wire and out of the page below the wire. So the hand rule we're using here uh, is the right hand rule where our thumb points in the direction of the current and our fingers curl in the direction of the magnetic field around the wire. Well, if we take a look at this portion of the hand rule, this, this version of that hand rule, you can see that when our fingers are above the wire, they're pointed into the page, and they would curl under the wire and be pointed out of the page. Um, and therefore, using that hand rule, that tells us that the conventional current is to the left. Therefore, this side of the wire must be connected to positive, and that side of the wire must be connected to negative. In B, what they're showing us is that uh, the wire itself is in the plane of the page, so it's in the Z plane, and they're showing us a magnetic field that is going around that wire in that direction. We take our right hand, the let our fingers curl counterclockwise, and by naturally doing so, our thumb is pointed out of the page. So our current is pointed out of the page, and the symbol for that is dot, or a circle and a dot in it. And for C, we again have a, uh, make a wire that's kind of diagonally uh, in the plane in a magnetic field that is out of the page above the wire and into the page below the wire. If we take our right hand and orientate it like this, we can see that our fingers above the wire are coming out and below the wire they would be going in so this would be the correct way to use that hand roll in this case. And so that indicates to us, by the direction of our thumb pointing, that the conventional current would be pointed in that direction diagonally. This end must be positive and that end must be negative. All right, that'll do it for number one. Let's take a look at number three. A wire carries a current of 10 amps, it's I, in a direction that makes an angle theta of 30 degrees with the direction of a magnetic field of strength 0.3 Tesla, that's B, find the magnetic force FB and a five meter length L of the wire. The equation that relates the variables that were given to us and what we're asked to find, which is the strength of the magnetic force, is Fb equals Dil sine theta. In this problem, the wire is not directed perpendicular to the magnetic field. Therefore, we are not going to be maximizing the force on that wire uh, since it is angled at 30 degrees with the magnetic field. So we go ahead and we substitute B, 0 0.30, current, 10 amps, length, 5 meters, and the angle of orientation is 30 degrees. Pause this video if you need time to calculate, and the force on the current carrying wire in the existing magnetic field is found to be 7.50 newton.
new bits. So nice introductory set of problems here and uh, more to come in class.